CSS, styling the web. The HTML is the structure, then CSS is the style of the web. In this lesson, you'll learn how CSS is used with HTML and where to find more information on writing CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. If HTML describes the structure of your web page, then CSS describes the style of the document. CSS is used to define the colors, fonts, and layouts of a web page. Let's take a look at the HTML document from the HTML lesson. In this example, the HTML document is unstyled. It is displayed in the browser using the default browser styles, but you can alter these styles using CSS. For example, you can change the color of the heading element to red and change the font size of the paragraph element to 20 pixels. Adding CSS to elements using the style attribute is known as using inline styles. But this is not the best way to style an HTML document. Instead, you can use a style element to add CSS to the document. It is also possible to add CSS to a document using an external style sheet. This is generally the preferred way to add CSS to a document. In this example, the style.css file would then contain the following CSS. In these examples, the CSS has been targeting specific elements, but it is also possible to target elements based on their attributes. For example, you could target the class attributes of the body element and add a border to it. CSS can do a lot more than just change the color and font sizes of elements. It can be used to create complex layouts, animations, and more. Like HTML, CSS is used all across a WordPress site. The dashboard has its own core sets of CSS to control the dashboard look and feel. Themes will ship with a custom set of CSS to style various theme elements. And plugins that add content to the front end of a site will also use CSS to style that content. WordPress also allows you the flexibility to add your own custom CSS or to use external CSS frameworks, such as Bootstrap or Tailwind. For more information about writing CSS, you can visit the following online resources. There is the CSS section on the Mozilla Developer Documentation, the Learn CSS course on web.dev, and finally the Responsive Web Design course at FreeCodeCamp.